So today, we're going to take a pop song and we're going to make it metal. As metal as we can get it. Now, here's the point. Warren reached out to me and asked if we could do a video like this where I was gladly willing to do it because it just sounds like fun. And then I was thinking about it and realizing, you know, well, this is kind of something I do anyway as a producer. I work with some labels, one in particular, where I would often have to take very rough form demos, sometimes being in a completely different genre, and make them fit to the singer and the project in general. And this meant not only translating the songs from, let's say, a kind of a pop song or maybe even a country song to a rock metal song, but it also meant translating the key, working on the tempos, doing all kinds of stuff just to make it fit the singer. So having said that, he offered a song. He actually offered a few songs, and I picked one. And it was from a band called Little Empire. The song is called Stay New. It's a very modern pop song. And now I'm going to take you through the steps that I go through when I'm doing this. So let's make it metal. Hi, and welcome to the Track Shack. I've got a real special guest with me here today, Mr. Oliver Hartman. You probably know Hi, him. Everybody. He is involved, of course, his own project, the Hartman Project. Right. And he is the guitar player, or was now the guitar player for Aventasia. And he is also the main guy in the best Pink Floyd cover band I have ever seen. Used to be called... Echoes. And now they are called... Pulse. Pulse. Right. So, we are going to metalize this song together. Today, I have specifically asked for Oliver to come because he just knows how to do this. He's fit in all genres of music, literally all genres of music. And are you sure? It, it, are you sure? Yeah. We've worked together many times, so I know what I'm getting us into. And I know what we're getting into, and I know that you can handle the job. So, let's not around anymore and get right to it all right oliver what we're going to do is is we're going to listen to this song from beginning to end yeah let's get an idea of what we can maybe do to metalize it yeah. and then it's up to you to come up with some great ideas and impress Hopefully. us all this is the original mix we're listening to it touches on my mind but i've already written you so many rhymes you're all that i could find but i've already J4 Okay G A four, yeah D e, 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 right? Yes yeah. There's always a break Saving again. If every car turned into rust, if all the money burned up, I need you to stay new. There are a lot of strings. There's a guitar doing something there, but it's not really metal. So. Oh, the C part. C part, yeah. Breakdown chorus. I could imagine maybe to do something in halftime on this C pod. That's an idea. And then I think it's chorus out three times. Or more. Solo. 
definitely need a soda. Okay, I mean, it's a very standard pop arrangement. I mean, there's nothing um, outrageous going on there. There's a C part. There's no pre-chorus at all. No. Just that one C part and... and it's uh, just verse, dynamic. chorus, and C part. That's, yeah, it. The That's all. Variated end uh, chorus. Yeah. But that doesn't help us at all. We have to metalize this mofo. So... How about the idea, because all the, the, the vocals in, in the chorus are about, uh, that, that, a lot of offbeat stuff going on, too, yeah. to maybe also add this to, to the main riff as like a... Something like this, for yeah. example. Yeah, I like that. That would be a, a kind of a rhythmic yeah. riff. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's actually try to play along with it. I'll turn off this playback. Yeah. And I'll find a chorus. I think this is a chorus. And maybe in the verse, something similar, but maybe muted or let's see. Okay. I, I have prepared uh, a little bit of a MIDI drum. Okay. What I did is I cheated. I just took the kick and snare from the original recordings yeah. and made those into MIDI notes. Tom's right. as well. So there's no cymbals. There's no hi-hat. It's just this. Just but a main group. It's yeah. just enough for orientation because we're going to be programming the drums for the, the start but like i said i want to start with the guitar so mm -hmm. it's all really up to you to lead the others um key change nothing you can imagine for the moment or it's all cool for you maybe in the end like when you maybe think about to to, to add a guitar solo some somewhere the um end. in the end to, to maybe do do a, a key change then afterwards okay. to, to go from from maybe b minor to to uh, okay. c sharp minor for example for example but you think the 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 the, the tonality the the key we're in right now is okay for it's pretty good working work, yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. we could always pitch something but it'd be yeah. nice if we could keep her voice if possible yeah 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 um i have no problem tuning her voice down i even got plugins and make it sound a little bit more but um, we're not going to do that if possible so um let's go try something on the chorus right yeah okay here we are chorus one i think it is Okay, this is verse again. I think it's pretty cool. What I would like to suggest is, is because you're always playing on, on this upbeat rhythm, yeah. at the end of the chorus, you sing, stay new, stay new. Maybe yeah. you could do it. Got it, done it, accenting with stay new, stay new. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Done it. Because that's actually kind of a... a, a solo almost. Trump is doing it too here. I don't need it there. But just yeah. you sing, stay new. Something in that respect to, to maybe hold on to that as a reference, okay? Okay. Let's try it again. But just in the end of the chorus. Just to the end of the chorus. Okay. Or in the double chorus twice. Okay, so we're gonna start by just recording a chorus for Guy. Nothing else, not serious, yeah. just Guy. That was a good start. All right. Let's go back to the beginning and see what we can do here. I mean, it starts with, it has these tom fills, which yes. is in metal. Big tom fills are always great. You can do a lot with it. So maybe we can work something it out over this. Mind, I could even imagine something cleanish here. Something a little bit like Dio would do. Something, a neat little picking theme, maybe. Yeah, That's yeah. something to, to keep in mind as a kind of an intro because yeah. a great metal song has a great intro, right? Yeah. So maybe we keep that in mind, but then it goes to this groove verse. Yeah. But I've already missed you so many times. You must be from another world. 
So there we need at least some kind of fundament. Maybe That's something reduced like... Stop, okay. Just keep keep trying, keep seeing yeah. where it brings you. Okay. For example. Right. Make makes sense. Yeah. Let's uh just document it to have it. Yeah. After this, we come to a second verse. I mean, the obvious thing is to do the same thing again. But because we have only a couple of parts in the song, I'd love to try something else. Uh, we have, we can get back to as a first verse that we can try to do some kind of a cool, cleanish intro, yeah, yeah, yeah. spacey intro thing too. We'll get back to that. The second verse which is very short, actually. I mean, it only happens once, and it's not twice as long as in the first one. Uh, what about here actually going for the halftime thing as well? Would that make sense? In the second verse? Da -da 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 I could real quick program something that kind of do 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 da Something's real simple. All right, I'm going to make some kind of a drum groove at halftime in the second verse. <laughs> Open. Maybe the, maybe maybe first half like muted. Yeah, oh, full, it's very verse. short. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay. try it again on yeah. on your two three mode. Yeah. Just the end is so you always got to keep that one bar in mind, right? Yeah. Turned into rest of all the money burdened up. And we just stay new. And we just stay new. Stay new. Stay new. And we yeah. Let's listen to that. Just stay new. And we just stay new. Stay new. Stay new. And we. Yeah. I think it's a good guide for now. Yeah. Okay, then we have our chorus, which we have here anyway. Um, um, I will just do a copy-paste because it's just a guide. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. Okay, so that's good enough for the moment. We have gotten the point across. And now we have this middle C part. Mm -hmm. Let's listen. Let's never change. We're at our best. But what is love? So then it goes into breakdown chorus. So it's two time. What is that? Uh, so we can we can either it's, it's D A with C sharp C and, and uh, B minor. So we can either do something with this typical English chorus, or we can do something with octaves maybe. Octaves possibly, or even maybe add a second voice or yeah, yes. Let's see. Or even what about the idea of, of um, making this a kind of a, a build up, build down. In other words, if we come out of here and then you know the drums kind of yeah. breaking down again, because it's a it's a chromatic part anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at the end we could do it. And then we break down anyway into the chorus. It's uh, sort of like a stop pre-breakdown part. I definitely don't like the way the drums are coming back in full time there. For this, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. But I think for our way, it's going to be a, a bit of a 
problem. I'm going to have the uh, this loop happen twice. Dynam is good because yeah. you can always do a big boom boom and boom boom. Or maybe just one. Or just yeah. one. Don't get logical with me. Okay, let's try that. Three. I'm going to record it. Three, 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 three and a half. Two, three, four. So the next thing that happens is this breakdown chorus. I think we need something because we only have a very short C part. I mean, this would be a good place to actually throw a solo in. So that's yeah. something I haven't said yet. But maybe we could take like the the verse chords yeah. and as use it as a solo part. Because a good metal song has a solo. And I'm personally not so keen about going from breakdown chorus into outro chorus two times and then followed yeah. by a variated chorus. Yeah. It's enough choruses. Let me just try that. It takes me a second here, but I'm going to find some kind of uh, tracks, some kind of a sequence here that we can use. Somehow is a crossover. Yeah. Put some ground chords here. I would maybe do really like layer chords on this part to have something different. Exactly. Yeah. Let's put that down. What is love to after That will do it. And then we have this very long chorus. I think it's a double and then a variated double. Okay. Yeah, maybe more open. Yeah. Um, let's try that. Uh, spontaneously, I find this whole thing was way too long. I mean... We could always throw solo at it, but at the moment it's just yeah. a, a, a reoccurring loop that just isn't going anywhere as for my ears at the moment. I think it's a good way to start. Let's just track it to have it. Yeah. Yeah, good. Bob, I'm going make some kind of ending to that. That went surprisingly well. Now it's time to listen and criticize. Touches on my mind, but I've already I can totally hear clean, ultra clean, you know? Ultra clean. I didn't know if I'd like it, but I like it. It's not typical of metal upbeat stuff, but it's working. This actually is a great change. 
feels good. And if you want to, you even go do ba do da to pick it up a little bit at the end. Good work. Now here's the thing, in my hard rock and heavy metal head, producer head, it says right now that double chorus is pointless here. It, it, in this part, feeling. yeah. It's because it's just about the vocals and it's a great melody, no doubt about it. But it is sort of just dragging on, you know? So let's leave it for now, but I am almost certain that that chorus is going to be halved. Yeah, it's still possible to cut it out in the end. And at the end, I'm not so sure if the additional chorus that comes four times that we only do four it three time choruses, times. yeah. It's it's a thing. It depends, you know. We also talked about um, going for a key change. We yeah. could try to do three in normal key and then four in a key change. Yeah. That's also a possibility. Yeah. Let's continue. We're we're gonna go past this second part of the second chorus and just listen to the overlap, the crossover. Yeah. to take some of the drum fills make it work solo we're going to do something with that yeah, yeah. <laughs> do -do 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 Drums. And it happens again. This is what I'm going to say. I'm taking, as a producer, I'm taking executive pri privileges, and I'm pretty sure about what I don't like. So what we can do is just to make a map. Yeah. Is um, I think it's cool that we have the the vocals like there. I need you to stay new. No, 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 no. And then by the second round, we could actually try to do this variation here, this I need you uh, and whatever else it's, it's happening there, I think is like this. Okay, and then we could actually tr try this with a key change. Yeah. Let's try to go to C sharp. So. Okay. I'm going to do this the um, corny way for a start. I'm just going to transpose your guitar two half steps. And I'm going to do the bass as well, two half steps. <laughs> Vocals. Would they stay? Would they go? Okay, did I cut that right? I did not, did I? Let's take those up two notes. Solo saves everything. So first take. Always. First take. We're done. All right. Um, I would like to now let's just try to work a little bit on the clean guitar. Yeah. 
and uh, see where it goes from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got to get to this intro part, and we were talking about clean sounds, and yeah. I still think it's going to be a really cool idea. Uh, you've got the pattern down. Yeah. We just uh, tried a couple things out, and I think we have what we're looking for. We're going to try it now by playing along with the track. I think it's a two bar count in. Let's just give it a try, okay? It touches on me. I think this is gonna work. So let's try one let's more time to to, more to time. see. We're gonna record this time. This is yeah. now we're just recording pilots. Make this clear. We're just recording pilots that we will later, without anybody watching us, make it nice and pretty. Okay, two bars. A one e two e three e four. It's Okay, that's a take for me, unless we decide later. Let Otherwise, me give it one more try to give that. You double. will get another chance when we do real recordings because I'm a very, very strict producer. Okay. And want to okay, go sir. step by step. Smackdown. I think we're talking about doing the second verse too. All right, let's try it. It's going to work. It's definitely going to work. So I think that's going to be a great idea. What I like to do is whenever the, the clean guitar is out in a metal situation, it never hurts to see if there's any place where you can do it again or if there's anything. The first thing that would come to mind for me would, of course, be this C part. As end to the two parts, maybe that's just spontaneous, something I can imagine. The last chord, somehow peeking into the last chord, and then the second half, the same thing. I think it's two times the same, right? Let me see. Let's try it. Okay. actually quite cool i think we can go with that um yeah i i like it i have no other ideas so let's keep it let me give now. you one more other absolutely what you got just a different voicing I like that voicing more. It's I like more. the picking on the fourth chord, though. I would do it the first time, too. Cool. 
for me, the, 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 the main parts are in, in a metal song is besides the riff, which doesn't really exist here. This is not a riff yeah. song. Oh, yeah. It's the chorus, right? And we've concentrated on the verse and we have our overlapping guitars in the verse. It gives it a little bit of dynamic. Now we need to maybe play around with the chorus and think what that could you get for some kind of a yeah, boost. Add something some to, kind of to, addition. The, to the main riff. Yes. And I guess for that, we need to go back to heavy metal. Right. Okay. Okay, it definitely makes it more heavy. Question, is it a way to keep it more in, in the lower range, not too yeah, high? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try something a little bit more in the lower range. Yeah, so we're around there. I take it all back. It gets messier. It gets. Um, it actually hurts. It doesn't the riff. separate that. Doesn't separate like it before. Well. Okay, <clears throat> now that will obviously happen in all the choruses. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have to do that now to see. Maybe even variating at the end. This whole end is going to yeah, be yeah, anyway yeah. a big experiment. But I think we have the basics. Now the other things we got to do is, of course, track it. There are little spots in between the choruses and all these stops that, that happen here that has like a little keyboard melody. We definitely cannot use that. Maybe we can look for some kind of a riff that we can actually put in there every time that, that part is needed. Was that again? Maybe not with the six, maybe like... Huh? Something easy. Some, some, you know, something easier. Huh? Maybe can you go go walk down really low, as low as possible? Something that's chunky. There we go. Can you play on fifths? Let's try that. Let's see what it, how that works. Yeah, maybe it's it is too low though. What would that sound like in these other spots? Try it just to hear it. We don't need it there. And I know why we don't need it as a vocal. If we keep the vocal repeating, it's just yeah, 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 not yeah. necessary. But doesn't it happen somewhere else again? I think it was before our new solo part. That, that could be actually either the riff or the lead into the solo. The same like before? The simplest way for it? Yeah, and then Works. solo? Works. We can see about when the solo comes. Maybe it was completely unnecessary. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, in any case, we've got it a couple times. It's uh, all that we really need. Now we go into the part that is going to be the most amount of work and probably the most uninteresting for everyone to watch. So we're going to do this separately. And that is the actual tracking, which you'll get to have when we're all done with all this. Okay. So give us a minute and we'll get right back to you real soon. Okay. We have done it. We have recorded all our guitars. Let's go through them quickly just to show what we've done. Yeah. We did uh, use our pilot tracks as a reference, and we started here the song with a clean guitar. Your touch is on like the flow. Keyboards will see. Still popish. 
because it still sounds a little bit poppy right now. And then, crunchy on the guitar. Main guitar is going on here. We got an overdub. It's happening only in the choruses, right? Lean is coming under the second chorus too, and the the halftime part. Then it pretty much stays the same throughout the song, only in the C part. Added the clean as well. And we have um, three octave guitars that bring us into our new solo part, which is basically a verse. That goes into our Double chorus, end chorus, which is basically all the same right now. Things can still happen. We don't know yet. We're just getting the basics down. But as we go and start doing drums and bass, other things might show up, right? So we've also done the key change. Because, got it. Right? With the same kind of thing going on here, the main guitars and then the extra uh, octaves uh, guitars on the chorus, just to give it a little bit more of a boost. And we've even done an end solo, right? And all this is going to be heard when we're done. The next step is up to me. I'm going to have to do a little programming on the drums to make it sound more like uh, it fits to the guitars. Yeah. But now we have the guitars and the guitars will dictate the rest of the song because this is metal. I love to dictate. He loves to dictate, he's a dictator. All right, uh, we continue and thanks for watching. Here we go. Okay, I got the drums programmed and uh, we're gonna go through it a bit to try to show you what I got. Try to keep it as metal as possible. It was pretty difficult at the beginning of the song because it's just this clean part. It's a very pretty melody. So what do you do? You add big toms. So we did that. In the mix, we're going to blow these up. We're going to get them really fat. A couple places like that where the china and snare combo was i'm gonna like reinforce it with a bass a little bit to make it sound you know nice and fat verse i kept it pretty simple hi-hat groove and bass drum on the rhythm of the guitar so something like this a little bit of double bass here and there we're gonna get as metal as possible but some things are just not metal. So the chorus, I've um, just went more hard rockish on this. Again, kept the groove pretty much to the uh, guitar thing, but went to the ride instead of the hi hat. So uh, ping ride, ping bell combination on eighth. It sounds like this. Maybe a little Motley Crue type. Thing. Second verse. We kept the toms and added a snare. Just to give the feeling of moving forward. To keep the groove. Because we're in half time, we gotta speed up. Alright, so we're in the chorus again. The ride thing, bell thing combination. This is a double chorus. So we beef up the second half by adding in some Chinas. It's always metal. And now the breakdown part. 
back to the Tom theme. A little different. Try to follow up with the guitars a bit there. Guitar solo. Pretty much the same as the verse. We just went to the ride instead of the hi-hat. Guitar players seem to like ride instead of hi-hats under the solo. And right there, we're going to add a big effect under these toms because in metal, you need, you need explosions. It's very important. Fire explosion and chicks. So then we have the two choruses, which is more or less the same thing as the other ones. A couple of small little things like a big fill in the middle. You need big fills. So let's get to the bass guitar and really get this rhythm section sounding solid. So now we're gonna record some bass guitar. I've chosen my cream colored Sandberg. It's got a pretty raunchy sound. And I will definitely be using my Tone X Studio Metal Bass 4. I'm gonna do a take through and then we'll see what it sounds like. And I've prepared some stuff, of course. This is not the first time I'm playing it. And then after I've played it, I'll explain why I've done what. So let's get right to it. Okay, I definitely know I've got to fix a couple of things. Some things I didn't want to play. Played a wrong note, I think, in one spot. But uh, let's go through it. The beginning, I wanted to keep the fundament there, but not to be too obtrusive. And so I stayed high and tried to not 
get in the way of the vocals. And we had this. It Then I went with the guitars. I felt that was uh, important. And now the chorus, I just rocked it up. Just eight. Push through. Here a bit more legato. Playing lower fundament. I might fix that spot. Uh, I'm actually going to make a track where I can like uh, make marks and see what's going on. And just to, you know, make a little comment that I want to fix something there. That, that was nice. I, I actually went with the guitar. I should have done that the first time too. I might do that, but then again, maybe just leave it there. Give it there too. Well, yeah, why not? Okay, real simple. Play in the fundament. Maybe more. Some more drums, more snare. Solo, basically the verse, but even more legato. Here, more or less the same thing. Tiny bit more movement in places, just a bit. Actually, there's a spot. Uh, the guitars did something else, if I can remember. Right. What did they do there? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I definitely want to double that up, so I'm going to make a little note there. Yeah, I got to double that up with the drums for sure. That works. Big key change. I didn't do much more here. Oh, mistake. That was definitely a mistake. And there's also something wrong somehow. The guitars did, what did they do? I definitely want to be more of the guitars there. So I'm going to fix those bits and then we'll have the bass finished. Next. Now the keyboards. This song had quite a bit of keyboards. And as you can see, I've decided to use quite a bit. Not everything. For example... There is this Rhodes track that sounds like this. Which goes through the whole song. And I could not find a purpose for it at all. So I just left it out completely. Then we had a synth pad that also went all the way through the song. 
Sounds like this. I've chose to use it only for the intro to like support the clean guitar a bit, but not too loud, just to have it there. And then it's, yeah, then it's gone. However, I did use the next track, which is called Strings Legato, and it's exactly that. It's strings. It starts at the second part of the first verse, goes all the way through the song, and at the end of the song, it builds up pretty dramatically. And that kind of stuff works well in metal, too. Orchestras just work in metal music, so that one's staying. Then we have another synth that I have decided to use only in the first chorus, the second verse, and second chorus, as well as this breakdown part, or let's call it a C part. It's doing this, a little bit of movement, more of an ear candy thing. So in the mix, I've got it a little bit louder than I would have it now, but... In the final mix, we got to see how far I go with it. But I thought it did some neat stuff, so that one's still there. Then I definitely kept this track. It's called Vacuum Chorus. And it's a weird sounding keyboard that sounds like this. I've modified it a bit. I've distorted it a little bit more than it already was and put a spreader on it to keep it nice and stereo sounding. And that's mainly just in the chorus as well. Actually, it's only in the choruses. And that gives us a good push in the chorus, which we always need. It helps keep things dynamic. The same thing with the next keyboard. It's called Synth One. Pretty original name for it. It sounds like this. Cool sound. Noisy sounds in general are just fun to work with and I like keyboards in metal and I like it when it's something untypical, not just the old wider shades of pale organ. So that's coming in in all the choruses. Then we had a keyboard that was only in the parts right before the choruses that sounded like this. Now I could not find a use for that. That's a little bit too much Christmas time sounding for me. So that's canceled altogether. Then we've got Synth 2, and this is also a neat one because it comes in on the second chorus. It's in the breakdown as well here. And then it goes throughout the end chorus as well. That's another reason why I turned off these other synths that I had in the first and second chorus. It was just getting too full, so we left it. And this one sounds like this. Also neat noise. In the breakdown, it's... You know, just keeping some kind of rhythm going. It's pretty neat. It's a little bit more dramatic here. Meaning louder. More stuff going on. So we had a riser. I've decided not to use this one because it just seems to mess things up in my ear. But I'll let you hear what it sounds like. In general, I love these kind of effects, but in this song with the amount of density that we have with the guitars, I would have to make that so unbelievably loud to be heard, I just decided not to use it. Then we have a additional string, which I've kept because I just thought it sounded neat. It's doing a couple accents at the ends of the choruses and at the beginning of this one. Then we have a reverse cymbal. It always works well. I think in any genre, that's our keyboards. Time to move on. All right, so now we're going to do the vocals. So I've had plenty of time to consider all this. And even though we came to a conclusion when we're doing the guitar, I've realized um, in retrospect that there's some things, the vocals that I don't want to keep. It's not rocky enough. And it would never be sung like this. It just is not... Uh, well, it'll never be really, really metal, but it's just not that thing. And one of my main concerns was in the double chorus. So at the end, we did a key change, but we also made a kind of a B chorus, 
meaning that the chorus continues, but the melody changes. Originally, this B chorus was just some kind of like ad lib outro to the song, and we made it into this. First part of the chorus. And then we added this end part. Now, if we just were to repeat the first part over and over again, that's just too much. And I realized this listening to the second chorus, which is just a double chorus. It just is overly repetitious and there's no chance to do anything special. You just got to listen to it and, and to sing it. Well, I, I definitely can't. That's way too much for my lungs. So the next thing that I was realizing is there's a certain thing in the melody of the vocals. It touches on the the na 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 na. This kind of a jump is just too damn happy for me. It's too nice. So we're going to change that. I also realized the offsets were always dif different. So it starts with being right on the one. So here. It touches on the There's the one. But I've already written you and so then it gets moved. It's on the two. on the one this is all run together that's fine so I want to change a couple of things rhythmically and melodically as well just to make it a little bit more rocky I won't do anything drastic I'm sure of that but I do want to do it differently so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try to sing it. I know I can't sing this through in one take. But uh, let's see how far I get. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. It touches on my mind. But I've already written you so many rhymes. You're all that I can find. But I've already missed you so many Okay, like I said, no way can I sing that through. I'm going to have to do some bits, fix a couple things maybe, try some stuff out, and I will copy and paste to get it done quickly where, where I can. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Now, I went back and did a couple of little things, mainly on the vocals. I added in the choruses a octave below the lead voice just to make it a little bit more thick sounding. And I use a lot of the original vocals as backing vocals because why sing it again if it's already there? And it works. So then I went and mixed it, played around a bit, tried some stuff out, and this is the end result. Please enjoy. It touches all my mind. 